my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if you haven't, welcome. Today I'm going to give you three different, very simple, very elegant tablescapes and give you some tips and tricks that you can use for your Thanksgiving table. So if you'd like to see what we got going on here, just stick around. One tip I have for you um, when it comes to napkins, you do not have to use linen napkins. I'm using them because I have them and my husband has threatened me if I don't use all the ones that I've got, I'm not ever getting them more again. So I'm using them. But you do not have to use linen ones. You can use uh, paper napkins. They come in all different colors, designs, um, and you can make those look just as elegant as the linen napkins. <clears throat> but if you are using linen napkins, one thing you always want to do before you set your place, it, your place setting, is you always want to iron the napkin because you want it to look very crisp and clean. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, we're just going to use this one here for an example. And I'm just going to get the uh, just the creases out. It doesn't have to be perfect. The main thing to do is to iron it the way it's going to be presented presented on the table. So it's going to be folded like this. See, so I just want the leaf to show. So that is how I'm going to iron my napkin to make sure that it stays that way. So I'm going to get that little like this and just get it ironed. It's a little time consuming to do all of those so I'm not going to take the time to do that right now but that's what you want to do and you have a crisp clean napkin to put at your table setting. And of course if you're using paper napkins of course you don't have to go through the step of ironing. Now we're going to talk about plates and chargers. I'm big on chargers because I feel like it, it gives it a more formal look to the, to the table. So today I'm going to be using two different kinds. I'm going to have a table setting without chargers and then some with chargers. So today I'm going to be using this wooden charger and this gold charger. Um, also we're going to talk about plates. Now, again, you do not have to have this fancy china at all to make a good place setting. Um, Hobby Lobby has some beautiful paper plates that you could absolutely lay on a charger. These chargers, you can probably get them for $2. I know that, I think Dollar Tree even has some, but you can absolutely lay a paper plate on a charger and it will look just as elegant as good china. But today, I'm gonna to be using my Thanksgiving dishes in this busy pattern, and then a white plate. Also, today we're going to also, um, I'm gonna show you how to set your flatware. Uh, today, I am gonna be using, I don't break this out all the time, but this is my gold silverware. I'm gonna be using that. Um, again, you don't have to use fancy utensils. They've got beautiful stuff at Hobby Lobby. Um, they've got stuff that looks like silver at Dollar Tree. You don't have to use fancy stuff. So let's get on with it. Also today, I'm, I am going to be using some napkin rings. Um, again, you don't have to have the napkin rings. I just like to use those. So I'm gonna be using these today. Okay, you always wanna start with a clean table, of course. Polish it, whatever you gotta do. Um, I do not have a big dining table. Um, it does seat six, but I'm only gonna set it for four people today uh, for the purpose of the video. It's just gonna be for a place setting. So we've got our table cleaned off, except for what, what we're gonna to use today. Um, I am going to use these, I guess these are placemats. I don't even know where I got these. But I'm going to use these. And because I'm using these and I want 
the leaf to show underneath the plate, I am not going to be using these chargers. So, um, and, and the reason for that, like I said, I want the leaf to show under the plate. I'm going to take these away. Okay, now the first thing I do when I'm doing a table, the first thing I do is my centerpiece because I like to revolve everything around my centerpiece. So I think what I'm going to do first, um, being as these are, I've never worked with these before and they kind of have a point. So I think today I'm going to do the opposite of what I always do and I'm going to do my centerpiece last with this. So I'm going to go ahead and too much stuff here on the table. Okay, get these set up at each spot. My OCD is kicking in, I guess. Okay, I don't have the chair there for that. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our little placemats here. The next thing we're going to do is the plates. Like I said, I'm not going to do the chargers with these, and I am just using the, the, the plain white or cream colored plates. Let me see a plate. <laughs> Let's see, where's my plate? Here it is. Okay, and you might be having a salad with your meal or a bread plate, or it could be a dessert plate. Okay, place that on top. Okay, now with these, since we are going to use the colored napkins, you could do two things with this. You could Fold them like, you know, like we talked about and iron them out to be. And lay them across your plate like this. Or you could use a different napkin with a napkin ring. Today, because I want them to match the placemats, I'm going to use them across the plate. And I haven't ironed all these out, so they're not um, going to be exactly right, not the way they would be if I was actually having Thanksgiving today, but you get the idea. Okay, now, okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to want to Place your knife closest to the plate and turned in this way. Then comes your spoon and then your dinner fork. Now a lot of people like to have the salad fork, dessert fork and blah blah blah. I'm not that formal so uh, always remember on the right your knife, your spoon and then your dinner fork. Okay, so we have our placemat, our plate, our salad or dessert plate, our napkin, our flatware, and the last thing is your stemware. I always set mine to the right of the place setting. Now for centerpieces. You don't need to go out and buy a centerpiece for your table. Always shop your house. Go around your house, gather up things that you think would make a nice tablescape one that would go with your theme if you're having a theme this one's kind of a leaf theme so i've gathered up some leaf picks and i'm also going to use this lantern um i think i got this at cracker barrel and i think they still have them uh so always shop your house um sometimes i pull stuff from my foyer you know, to bring into my dining room or, you know, I could pull it from anywhere. 
but always shop your house first before you go out and spend money. <laughs> My husband would shake his head at that. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the lantern, just place it in the middle here, and you wanna make sure you don't have something that's too high that your guests can't see each other over. And I'm just gonna stick some of these picks around and underneath this you kind of want to make it visually appealing on all sides okay and let's see let's kind of stick this under there and I've got a little pine cone I'm just gonna pop right there let's see if I get him to stand up there we go and I think that looks good I think that's a cute little table setting. And I think anybody would enjoy their Thanksgiving meal sitting here. For this table setting, I've shopped the house like I told you to do, and I've chosen this lantern with, this is a flameless candle inside. Um, so I have this kind of sitting diagonally. That way it just looks more, um, I don't know, it just gives it a cozier look. So I've got some picks that I'm gonna stick in here to kind of fill out the bottom here. I think that looks good. Now let's move on to the chargers and the plates. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, a napkin setting using napkin rings. So I've got these leaf napkin rings here, and I've got my cloth napkin. Again, you don't have to use cloth napkins, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lay it out like this. I'm gonna take the center of this and pull it up just like that. Put the napkin ring on. Flap it out, lay it in the center of my plate, just like that. Do one more. Well, you see, I'm gonna lay it out. Take the center, pull it up, put the napkin ring on, flap it out, lay it in the center of my plate. Okay, so again, we're gonna take our knife with the blade edge towards the plate, our spoon, and our dinner fork. And then your stemware to the right. Okay, so for our third and final tablescape, I've already done the centerpiece here. I decided to use some pumpkins and some picks that I just have stuck in here. This pumpkin, of course, as you can see, is on a pedestal. That's just to give it some height, um, and people can still see over that when they sit down. So we've got some, uh, we've got our three, actually four pumpkins. 
And I've just stuck some of these picks in here to fill in empty space. And now we're ready to move on to the rest of our table setting. Okay, so for this uh, table setting, I'm going to use this burgundy colored napkin. But for this, we're gonna fold this a different way. So we're gonna have it completely spread out. And we're gonna fold this. I guess it would be into thirds, just like this. And make sure you iron your napkin if you're using linen. You're gonna smooth that out. And for this um, place setting, what we're gonna do, this is a little bit different. We're going to set this. We're gonna take our plate off. And we're going to lay our napkin just like this in the center of the charger. And put your plate right on top. Okay, so here we've got our charger, our plate, and the reason I used a solid charger without any kind of decorations on it is because my plate is so busy that I just needed something plain for it to rest on. So we've got our charger, our plate, and we've got our napkin. Now we're doing our flatware. Now you could use silver flatware if you'd like to, um, but if you're doing gold chargers, I always like my chargers to match my flatware. So if I'm, of course, doing silver, I would use silverware. But um, being as I have gold, and for some reason, I, I just like to use the gold when it comes to Thanksgiving because I, I feel like it makes the table warm. So um, that's what we're doing today. So. The only thing left for this place setting is the stemware. So there you have three simple, easy Thanksgiving table settings. I hope you got some useful tips from me. And if you happen to use any of these tips or um, table settings, please take a picture of it and post it down below in the comments. So I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know. Is there a way to post a picture in the comments? I don't know. But anyway, um, if you can do that, do that so I can uh, check out what you guys have done. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you would like to subscribe, I'd love to have you, and click that like button because it helps me out, and thanks for watching.